Hello class, today we are going to start off with our topic that is filtration. Filtration is an important separation technique. It is uh, a primitive kind of technique that we have been using since ages. Uh, in our homes also with, uh, when we have to purify something, we specially try to go for the simplest technique that is known as filtration. In this particular technique, the thing that is of utmost important is basically the filter. With the help of a filter, we can directly separate out the two things. The thing that we are going to pour from the uh, from above of the filter is that is the feed. The feed will constitute of two parts. The first one is liquid and the other one is solid. By the means of filtration, we can separate out these two things on the basis of the pore size of the particular filter that we are using. So this particular diagram is showing a, a brief uh, overview of this particular technique that is filtration. Uh, over here we can see that it is a particular filter, this particular filter will have a particular pore size. Depending on this particular pore size, we will separate out the feed. What is feed? The feed basically constitutes of a solid as well as liquid component. When the feed will pass through a filter, it will separate down uh, constituents that are solid phase will be uh, separated and the liquid phase will be eluted out downwards. How is it going to filter? The filter is going to filter on the basis of the pore size. The larger will be the pore size, only the largest molecules will be separated. Or the smaller will be the pore size, the more small and smaller particles will be separated from it. How is it going to separate out? First of all, we are going to uh, pour the feed above the filter. When we are pouring the feed above the filter, uh, the pore size of the filter either will collect the larger particles above it or they will uh, deposit them uh, inside the filter. How is it going to uh, purify? If the uh, feed is deposited above the filter, then we are calling it uh, the deposition as cake. In this particular type of filtration, we are co uh, calling it as cake filtration. When the feed will pass through it and the liquid is collected into the collection chamber downward, during the meanwhile, the other thing is that the uh, feed, the larger molecules present in the feed will be collected inside the chamber. What will happen during that time? We will call it as the entrapment of the uh, material that is to be purified. In either ways, we can utilize the product of our interest. It can either be lifted downwards or it can be collected over the filter or within the filter. So this is the basic overview of this uh, separation technique that is filtration. It has various uh, kinds of uh, applications in today's world. Directly separate out the cells from the medium. We can uh, sterilize the liquid medium. How are we going to sterilize? We can directly harvest out the microbes or the uh, contaminants that are present into the liquid system by using adequate types of filters. Next, we can uh, remove the crystalline solids from the liquid remaining part. And there are very many other applications that are uh, also utilizing this particular technique. Now, the basic uh, difference between the two types of uh, filtration is. In the first one, we are uh, concerned about deposition. In deposition, only the uh, feed uh, having the large particles will be collected in this phase. Means this, the larger molecules will be collected in the, uh, they will be collected above this particular filter. In such kind of case, we are calling it as cake filtration. In this, either the product of interest could be the cake or the liquid that is eluted out. The next kind is, in which we are calling it as the entrapment filtration method. In this particular method, the cake will not be deposited. Uh, instead, the larger particles will be deposited in this particular area. It means that the particles, the larger particles will be deposited inside the filter. Uh, in this case, it will be very much difficult for us to harvest out this uh, solid matter which is entrapped inside the filter. The only product of interest in this second case could be the liquid that is collected below this particular filter. Now next, there are uh, various different kinds of uh, filtration. Next are the types of filters. 
in the types of filters the filter could be either the surface filters or they could be depth filters the surface filter is nothing but the cake filtration method in this particular method the cake will be deposited above the filter uh, in such cases the uh, filtrate is uh, passing through when the feed uh, is passing through the uh, cake will be deposited above the filter this surface filter is also abbreviated as cake filter because the cake that is deposited above the filter can be utilized or uh, it could be the final product that is of our interest in the other case if we consider surface filtration it is also having a big problem what is that problem during this filtration method a uh, larger amount of cakes will uh, try to choke the system larger and larger amounts of cake will they will cause resistance in the filtration uh, system why because it will decrease the surface area for the filter so that the feed could pass through the lesser the surface area will be remaining with us the less will be the elution and we can say that uh, time after time the efficiency of the filter will be decreasing whereas in the next method that is depth filtration in the depth filtration the major drawback is this that uh, the feed uh, containing the large particles will be within the filter and we cannot harvest out this particular product if once it is deposited into the filter there are very many problems in harvesting out this particular product if the product is the larger molecules so only in the case of depth filters the product of interest could be the, the liquid which is harvested out harvested out from the filter so these are the two types of filters next we will be considering the classification of filters so we will be considering about the classification of filter filtration method these are the three classes the first one is the cake filtration method i think we have already considered the case of cake filtration in which the cake was collected uh, above the filter in the cake filtration we will have to keep in mind that cake filtration is only possible in those cases where the amount of uh, the large particles present in the feed is much higher it has to be higher than at least 5 to 10% of the total amount of feed similar is the case for the cross flow filtration but it is major advanced technique than the cake filtration why because there is very less choking effect seen in the cross flow filtration why is it so in the cross flow filtration technique the if the filter is present in a horizontal position the movement of the feed will be parallel to this particular filter so it will uh, due, due to the motion effect of this it will also remove the uh, uh, these larger particles that have deposited above the filter in this way it is reducing this cho choking effect due to which we can use it for continuous system why because like cake filters if once it, they are choked we will have to remove them or we will have to wash them thoroughly so that this could be used again whereas in the continuous flow filters it can be continuously used for a very long period of time why because the choking effect is very very less in comparison to the cake filters these both cake filtration technique as well as the uh, cross flow filtration technique these are both based on surface filtration methods the third technique is the clarification method during the clarification method uh, we are using the entrapment method or uh, the other name is the depth filters in this particular method the total amount of large solids to be present into the system have to be less than 1% what does it mean that only those fluids can be uh, filtered by using this technique in which the total amount of solid content is very very less only in those cases we are using this clarification technique 
because in those cases the uh, product of our interest will be the solid which will be removed out after the filtration is done. So these are the three uh, classes of filtration. These are uh, cake filtration, clarification and cross flow filtration. Next we will be discussing about the filter mediums that what are those filter mediums which are used for filtration. Now these are the filter materials which are more commonly used. These could be the filter paper. Filter paper is uh, something that we have been using uh, since our uh, schools. Uh, by the use of this filter paper we can directly, uh, we, can, we are directly going to pour our uh, feed that is to be purified above this filter paper and this filter paper is going to remove the solid particles uh, by the means of the thing that we call it as surface filtration. The next is the woven materials. Woven materials like woven glass fibers, woven uh, cloths like cheese cloth or other cloth which are used for filter, these could be used. Uh, the next one is non-woven pads in which the uh, materials like fibers, these are non-woven and these can be directly uh, packed into a particular pad. Over this thing, uh, this particular pad is going to be used as filter. Over this we are going to pour the feed and this particular thing uh, could either act as the uh, surface filters or the depth filters. Next one is the ceramics. Ceramics are nowadays very much advancedly used in industries for the filtration practices. Next is the slintered uh, glass. In this slintered glass, the uh, glass is particularly heated at uh, a particular temperature which increases its efficiency for filtration. Next is the sintered metals. This again the metals are heated at a particular temperature which ing increases its efficiency for filtration. These all are the materials which are used for filtration. Next how are we going to filter it, how industries are using this particular technique for filtration. So there are various kinds of filtration uh, that the industry is employing. Next we are going to consider those. Next, these are the methods which are uh, which industrial uh, equipments are based upon. First one is the funnel filter. Funnel filter is something that we have been uh, already using in our laboratories in which we have a funnel apparatus over which our filtering material like the filter paper or uh, ceramics or some other things could be based upon. Over this funnel we are going to pour our fluid which is going to be elevated down and the solid, uh, the larger part will be standing above the filter. The rest all will be elevated down. Next are the filter presses. What are filter presses? As we have seen in uh, larger industries or we could have directly seen it for uh, purposes like oil extraction etc. There are larger presses having filters placed over here and a heavy hydraulic presses placed over to this particular place and here the feed is being injected. And due to this hydro hydraulic pressure, this will be forced upon over the filter. Due to this uh, filter press, a high, high pressure will be applied over to the filter which will be 
letting this particular uh, product to be separated into its particles and as well as the liquid part. Through this, the feed will be collected over here and the rest will be eluted out. Next is the leaf pressure system. In the leaf pressure system, it is the most advanced and uh, commercially more valuable technique. In this, a particular feed will be passed on in a tube. Through this tube, the uh, material that is to be filtered is divided into different leaf-like appendages which is containing the filter into it. This, this leaf-like appendage will be having a particular filter of a particular pore size into it. When this feed will be passing through this, it will be coming down into this filter and it will be getting filtered. The uh, whole of the cake will be uh, collected over to one side and the rest filtered material will be passed on to the tube that is present downward. So this particular tube will be containing the feed whereas this one will be containing the filtered product. This is the feed pre leaf pressure system. And the last one is the vacuum filter. Vacuum filter directly uses the uh, advantages of vacuum in which we are uh, creating a vacuum pressure. Uh, for understanding this particular thing, we first need to know what are the driving forces which are important for filtration. There are basically two types of driving forces. The first one is the positive driving force. In the positive driving force, the pressure is directly applied from the feed side towards the filter side. So that the feed is forced through the filter and it is being purified. The next driving force is the negative uh, force. In the negative force, the uh, feed is not forced whereas a vacuum is created below the filter which will help the feed to directly forcefully uh, entering into the filter through which the this particular filter is going to filter out the effluents as well as the uh, solid particles. So these are the two driving forces. In this particular vacuum filtration type, we are going to use this negative system. In this particular negative system, there will be a chamber. This chamber will be having a vacuum created into it by a vacuum pump and the feed will be directly present above this filter which will help it to move down. While moving down, the larger particles will be keep, uh, will kept be remaining in the uh, space that is above the filter, whereas the rest of the effluent will be moving downwards. So these are, these all are the basic uh, techniques which we are using for the uh, method of filtration in the industries. Next is the action. The basic action of filtration is the sense of impermeability. The larger molecules which are impermeable to a system will not be able to move down and the smaller particles which are permeable through a particular membrane are going to move out of it. So these are the basic uh, actions of the filtration methods. Now what is that thing that is causing the thing either to be formed as cake or either it is to be entrapped within the filter. First we are considering the case of filter. In the cake type of filters, the pore size are simply smaller smaller as compared to the large particles which are present within the system. So whenever the feed is poured over this particular filter, the molecules which are smaller than these narrow capillaries which are present within the uh, filter, these are simply going to pass down. And the larger molecules which are very much larger than this particular size, these are not able to move through this filter. So they are collected above the filter. This is the basic principle of the cake filter. Next is the depth filter. What basically happens within the cake filter is uh, actually happening due to the presence of the sieves within the filter. These sieves are not directly uh, of a particular pore size but these could be of varying pore sizes. Like we can see into this particular figure that a pore sieve could be like this or it could be in this particular manner. So these are somewhat torturous for the movement of the uh, larger particles which have to be moved down. What will basically happen is a lot many kinds of uh, forces will be acting upon the solid particles which are to be filtered through this filter. The feed will be poured over to this. If the part particles are larger uh, than this particular uh, filter, they are directly not entering into this. This is the first thing that is uh, happening in this depth filter. The next thing is if the small particles are moving through this, so at certain instances the pore within the filter will be narrowed down. Due to this narrowing, some of the particles will be entrapped at such turns. So this is the second thing. The next thing is, if the path of this particular large particle is obstructed, how is it obstructed? Because the uh, particle which is moving just ahead to it has been obstructed due to certain problems. So it will obstruct the path of the following larger particles. It is the third thing. The fourth thing is, there are certain uh, instances in the path of the larger particles which are torturous to it. 
means if the particle is more